Could your beauty routine be aging you? We're busting five myths to keep you young. Makeup wipes are great because they're loaded with products that actually dissolve makeup. And there are some that are more natural and fragrance free and there's some that are more like a typical makeup remover. The problem is they have chemicals in them. And so the tendency is for individuals to wipe their makeup off and go to bed like that. You have still got to wash your face with water afterwards. You wanna remove the chemicals that were in that wipe because if you don't, you're not only gonna have chemicals on your face, but then if you go to put on any beauty products afterwards, they're not going to penetrate as well. The skin around the eye is different. It's thinner, it doesn't have any sebaceous or oil glands as much as the rest of your face. You wanna use a product specifically formulated to remove eye makeup, whether it is a wipe or a product you actually put on a cotton ball and swipe across the area, and you wanna do it gently. It's always better to dab than rub. Cleansers are incredible. There's something out there for everyone. And some people are foamers and some people aren't foamers. My rule of thumb is you want a soap-free cleanser, which is considered a synthetic cleanser. They do not strip the skin as much and they don't have as much of a basic pH. So they're actually better at maintaining that acidic pH of the skin that we want. Well, I think most people apply sunscreen with a really good intention, but they don't do it properly. And so you need to put a really good coat on, which is why, if possible, I prefer creams and lotions, but some people just want to use a spray. And if you do, make sure you get a good thick layer on. Sleeping can cause wrinkles. Usually when someone walks into my office, I can guess what side they sleep on. That side of the face will have more lines, especially in the perioral area, and it may even be a little flatter. So I try and tell people, sleep on your back when possible. Who can do that? Or get a new pillowcase. There are now pillowcases. Some of my favorite have copper fibers in them, and these are designed to actually over time impart copper onto the skin, which is a building block for collagen, but they also are smooth and have a silk-like texture, which can not only keep your hair from getting tangled, but also keep your skin from having a lot of friction on the pillowcase.